The lake fire has burned over 38,000 acres and is now more than 38% contained. For a live update on the lake fire, we're joined now by Santa Barbara County Fire Spokesman Captain Scott Safechuck, who's at the Santa Maria Base Camp. Hi there, Captain. What's it looking like out there today? Hi, Joey. Thanks for having me on here. Uh, let's see, we got a truck driving by, so it might get a little loud, but it's looking pretty good. Behind me here is our map of the fire, and I'll get into that in a second, but we're at 38,653 acres, 38% contained, and 3,267 people on scene. Here's our map oriented to the north. You have Los Olivos down in this area with the div uh, division down the middle, this being the south portion, this upper portion being the, the north portion. The black line indicates containment. The red lines that are kind of squiggly here with hash marks on it indicate open fire line. So you can see, and I'll start with the south. The south looks pretty good. We got a lot of containment here, uh, but until we increase the numbers from 38% per, uh, to a higher number, we need to make sure that 150 to 300 feet in off of that black line there, that there's no hot spots before we increase that containment. So firefighters are working within that area, uh, really trying to mop up and, and, and penetrate into the dirt and mop up those hot logs. Uh, to move to the north section, this would be the northwest section here. We have some containment lines uh, building in here uh, with a lot of open line with fire moving and steep terrain backing down the hill uh, towards the north. Um, firefighters in there working, but uh, not a lot of high fire activity, but it is burning in there. Uh, and then as we move down to the to like the middle portion of the north, uh, we have a little bit of containment line and we're still just trying to work in here. Uh, and as I move down to the east here, you have the Forest Service Road uh, 8N09, which comes around from Happy Canyon. Uh, and we have resources all along here working. So this portion of the fire, that north portion of the fire is going to take some time. Uh, and an ETA is hard to give at this point. We had some weather working in our favor the last couple of days with some cooling today, but it's going to be ramping back up uh, into the 80s and 90s today. Uh, and as we get further into the week, we're going to get into the triple digits, which makes it even harder uh, for us to, to work in there because it's really steep terrain, uh, managing that heat uh, exhaustion and staying hydrated. Uh, and in addition, um, you know, temperature is going to temperature is going to increase and our relative humidity is going to drop, which can influence the fire uh, and, and increase that activity. A lot of resources here. Uh, there are fires in, in the adjoining uh the county, we have released some uh, resources to help in those areas, but we have a lot of resources that are remaining on scene. Uh, and we do have also a monsoonal weather formation adjacent to us, not really influencing us currently, but we'll pay attention to that as we move into the week and see how that could affect our fire behavior. Okay, Captain, now what will this mean for resources in terms of, in terms of that favorable containment percentage you have going on? Will that mean some fire personnel could be relieved from the lake fire? Yeah, it, we, we take it day by day, see how our containment increases uh, in this northern section and really relative to how the, the weather influences our fire behavior. Uh, and so we, may, we are releasing some resources, but it's reevaluated day by day. And evacuation orders and warnings, how is that going? We know over the weekend there was a report of repopulation and deputies were handing out information folders. If you looked at the incident report and the update that you posted on X, it looked like some of the evacuation orders and warnings have been canceled. That's correct. Uh, yeah, we've reduced those evacuation warnings uh, in or orders in the Woodstock area, which uh, if this is, this is Los Olivos, so kind of the foothill residents and parcels, along this uh, containment line. So we also have these contingency lines here, which are these hash marks of, of dozer. So you can see a lot of dozer work that went in there to uh, prepare and uh, protect those residents in there. So I'm sure those residents are happy to be home. We really appreciate them uh, listening to our, our warnings and our orders and leaving as necessary so we could get in there and do good work. Uh, and now it was safe to get those people back in there. Uh, for up, updated information on the continuing uh, uh, evacuation warning and orders, uh, we recommend go to readysbc.org for that interactive map so you can see exactly where you live and um, when those orders will be lifted. Captain Scott Safechuck, we thank you for your time. We hope you have a good, safe afternoon out there. Thank you. Thank you, Joey, for having us. Take care.